Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable CAD coaching. Now, before I discuss the solution for the question, here are a few steps which every serious CAT aspirant should follow. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than this, students, if you want to receive notifications on WhatsApp uh, related to different colleges and different exams, then please fill the form given in the description. And other important links are also there in the description itself. Now, let us come to the question. I hope all of you have given it a try. Okay. So it is given that Amal purchases some pens at the rate of 8 rupees. Now he hires an employee at a fixed wage. He sells 100 of the pens at 12 rupees each. Now further it is given if the remaining pens are sold at 11 rupees each, there is a net profit of 300. While he makes a net loss of 300 rupees, if the remaining pens are sold at 9 rupees. Now this is something very important. From here, if the remaining pens are sold at 11 rupees, then there is a net profit of 300. If he sells the remaining pens at 9 rupees, then there is a net loss of 300. So, we focus on remaining pens. This is a very important line. Let me write it here. If remaining pens are sold at 11 rupees per pen, then there is a net profit of 300 rupees. But if he sells the remaining pens at the rate of 9 rupees per pen, then there is a net loss of 300 rupees. Students, what do we know from here? Can I say, we are getting 2 rupees less for every pen. Here, we are getting less than 2 rupees per pen. 2 rupees less per pen. And just see the overall difference in the profit and loss. पहले हमें 300 रुपए का प्रॉफिट हो रहा था अब 300 रुपए का लॉस हो रहा है कहने से ओवरऑल देयर विल बी अ डिफरेंस ऑफ 600 रुपीस दैट मींस हमारा जो सेलिंग प्राइस है वो 600 रुपीस से कम हो जाएगा अगर एक पेन पे 2 रुपए कम हो रहे हैं और ओवरऑल सेलिंग प्राइस पे 600 रुपीस का इफेक्ट पड़ रहा है ओके आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग माय पॉइंट यू आर डिक्रीजिंग 2 रुपीस फ्रॉम एवरी पेन एंड ओवरऑल देयर इज अ डिक्रीज ऑफ 600 रुपीस so from here, we can definitely find the number of remaining pens. 600 divided by 2, that means the remaining pens are 300. I hope this point is clear to everyone. This is the most important step to solve this question quickly. Okay, so now we know that he's selling the remaining pens which are equal to 300. Okay, now first of all, let us look at the selling price. He sells 100 pens at the rate of 12 rupees yahan se kitna aa gaya 1200 rupees aa gaye remaining pens hamare paas 300 aa gaye let's take this case if remaining pens he sells at 11 rupees to yahan se selling price 3300 aa jayega now can i say overall selling price is coming out to be 4500 ye hamara overall selling price hai is case mein dekho net profit kitna hai 300 so, if overall selling price is 4500 hai and there is a profit of 300 rupees, so we can find the overall cost price. Definitely, cost price will now be equal to 4200. Now, students, 4200 may kya kya included hoga? 4200 will include the cost price of all the pen and it will also include the wages of employee. Very important. Now, I'm assuming the wages of employee as X. Okay. So if he Amal purchases pens at the rate of 8 rupees, total pen kitne purchase ki hai? 100 and 300. Total pens he purchased were 400. At the rate of 8 rupees. So 3200 cost kaha se aagi? Yeh pen ki cost hai. Overall cost kya hoogi? 3200 plus the wage of employee that is X. This should be equal to overall cost price which is 4200. So from here students we can find the value of X which comes out to be 1000. So 1000 is the correct answer. It's a very good question. Okay. If you are clear with this step, then you can solve this question very quickly. Thank you everyone.